what's up everybody and it's your boy again Jack Damon and welcome back to another episode here on our channel and in today's episode we're going to take a quick look at um potato that is um over the over the past few months i've been using potato just to run um a few um web uh sites actually uh those are like uh, wordpress websites um and it's been good actually so far but recently i logged in and then found out uh that there was um, an update required uh so i just logged in and as you can see right down here to the left uh corner you can see new version uh is available uh, new version of potato is available so that is uh you'd have to uh, update all of those or up update the potato itself so that's what i'm actually going to show um in 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 today's episode so right here quickly i am going to go to um the docker uh, documentation or potato sorry potato documentation here and uh there's there's actually a list now if i should go back to the potato you can see um new version available and potato.io uh, 2.13.1 uh, that is probably currently what i'm running now but then the latest version is 2.14 so that is actually what we're going to be uh, updating today and you can also go to the releases and find out uh, this is um like the current release for the community edition so so that is, uh, you can just go through all of these and then check out um, the necessary changes that have been made if you use Portana, that is. So let's just dive in quickly. Um, I am going to SSH or I've already SSH into my um, server here, uh, my server I'm running uh, Portana on. So quickly what I'm going to do is just, um, let's go through the, the uh, documentation and then see what uh, is required of us. So first off, uh, in the documentation here you would have to stop uh potato first and then remove the potato uh container then we would also have to pull uh the latest version again and then run the uh docker run again and just like you would initially do it like when you're doing uh installing it for the first time all right so what we'll do now is quickly um just copy this so docker stop container and i'm gonna copy this right about here and then put a sudo space paste that in there and that should stop uh potato great and then now we have to uh, remove that potato so i'm gonna copy that and then again sudo paste that in there hit enter so the potato version uh older version has been removed at the moment so we can then continue to the next step that is to copy this the latest version and as usual sudo again paste that in there hit enter and that should pull um the latest version of potato it might take uh probably a few seconds or a few minutes maybe um i've already done this so that's why i'm actually getting this now so um uh, <clears throat> then we actually move on to the next step so that is uh right about here um installing um or performing a docker run so i'm gonna copy this one here and sudo again space paste that in there and I'm gonna add the port um, 9000. Uh, so let's scroll the way back. Okay, let's put it right about here, space, tag P, and let's put a 9000 colon 9000. Okay, great, so that looks fine. And we can just hit enter on that. I think everything looks cool hit enter and then let it do its own thing so okay great so our protein has been created already for us so everything is ready and good to go so what i'm going to do now is just open a new um, tab here and then put in my ip so that is 192 1137 colon 9123 and delete those hit enter on that so that should open my protein for me and i'll sh okay great so i'll probably have to log in again close close your session has expired login great and there we go so this has changed uh nothing for us that is everything seems to be working normally everything seems to be fine and i think we're already good to go all right so that is let's see if we have any changes here there is nothing changed our volumes and stocks are still over there stocks over here it's still the same if i go back uh again uh, go to the containers i still have everything here up and running so portina is right up there up and running and let's log out and then log back in to see if we're gonna get um the same errors again so here 
enter and as you can see we are now up uh putting a 2.14.0 this is just um not really uh important for us now we can just dismiss that and then as you can see before we had um uh the past version but now we are up uh, potato 2.14 so that is it that is just quickly how to update or upgrade your potato if you have any other questions just don't forget to leave them in the comment section and as well don't forget to like and subscribe all right peace out